the federal automated vehicles policy is what they call it. And note that, note that word automated. So some driver involvement still throughout the process. But really what NHTSA is trying to do here is technology is moving so fast. And let's face the fact, government regulatory uh, uh, um, processes don't move that fast. It takes some time. So what NHTSA did was they came out with the idea of guidelines to help kind of be flexible and nimble in the approach, but to give an idea to these folks who are developing these systems, the OEMs, suppliers like Bendix, and uh, even these technology startups like the Pelotons and the autos of the world, an idea of what their expectations are going to be. Now, while they're guidelines, they do have some teeth, because NHTSA does reserve the right to recall and use other regulatory uh, actions that they have available today. So if you put a technology out there and you kind of don't follow the guidelines and they recall the technology, probably not a good thing to do. What's going to be key in these NHTSA guidelines is what they call the safety assessment. And this is a 15 uh, point document that the developers of these technologies, whoever they are, Okay, so it's not just the OEs, suppliers, uh, technological supporters, even if a fleet comes up with a concept, they're going to be involved in, in being able to cover these. And so um, what they have to do is you have to file this, um, and NHTSA has even gone as far as to announce recently that they are going to actually promulgate a rulemaking next year to require this to happen. The other things that come into play as far as this policy goes, really quite interesting, is it covers everything, okay? From uh, light duty vehicles to medium duty all the way up to heavy. So even though there's a great picture of a car on the uh, cover of the guidelines, uh, it applies to everything. And it also applies to level two automation and higher. So as companies like Bendix look at adding steering along with acceleration control, we're going to have to follow these guidelines and bring things into play. Besides just the uh, uh, suppliers, they've also talked about model state policy to help get some consistency on the guidelines across the state. And one of the interesting things in that is that NHTSA talks about the fact that states can license the human driver, but NHTSA is responsible for licensing the technical driver or the driverless system. Mm -hmm. So that interplay is going to be interesting. And lastly then, their use of current regulatory tools as we talked about recalls, and they're going to look to Congress to grant them some additional tools to be able to help them do this in the future. Last point, a flexible document. Even in the document, NHTSA talks about an update occurring probably within a year. So this is going to be a living document as we move and forward. One, uh, voice is trucking voice uh, for multiple pieces of trucking passenger car that they're going to be an opportunity for many different groups as this develops very very rapidly absolutely